Hi, I'm Michael. Today we're going to talk about self-promotion, social media marketing, and public relations. That's what we do with Landry Van Axen Marketing. People ask us a lot of questions. I thought if we had a video um, on our YouTube channel, it would explain some of that. I like starting out with the stories of my early days in San Francisco. We had just started a magazine called Magical Blend. We were putting it together nights and weekends, all volunteer, out of my uh, living room uh, in the Mission District. And uh, we, we went to our first expo. We rented a booth. We sat there with the first issue. And I sat there with my head down. People would walk up and say, what's this? I'd say, a magazine. What's it about? Oh, a little bit of everything. Uh, do you work on it? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I work on it. I publish it. Um, is it for sale? Yeah, yeah, it's for sale. You know, not a year later, I was standing in front of that booth. I was holding up that magazine. I was saying, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah. This magazine is going to change your life. This magazine is going to change your family's life, your children's life. This magazine is going to blow your mind and give you the answers you need to have a meaningful life. All right, so I went a little bit overboard. When I came out, when I helped coordinate our first anthology, uh, the, the company that published it got us a, a public relations person who got me on a speaking tour about the book, and I stood on stage and I stammered. I, I led visualizations that were really weak. <laughs> and uh, I tried to tell the stories in the magazine that, in a very boring fashion. So I practiced, and as I practiced... I got better. By the time my third book came out, I guess that was Secrets of the Amazon Shamans, um, I, uh, I was great at workshops, great at lectures, great at self-promotion. And, and uh, e e practice is the secret to everything. <laughs> my cat's running around me as I talk. Um, and believing in what you're doing, overcoming your self-consciousness, wanting to get what you're passionate about out to people. Uh, I know a lot of authors who really just want to be authors, and they hope people will buy their books. And I know others who are really into using the Internet to funnel and to manipulate people, to give them their emails and to... Uh, buy their product. I, I don't personally agree with either of those. Uh, but, you know, if people just want to write and they don't want to sell what they wrote, that's their choice. But if you want to sell what you wrote, figure out who would like it. We all want everyone to like everything we produce or do or offer. Not true. There's generally, if you're a practitioner, a healer, a uh, uh, chiropractor, uh, massage person, you you need to look at who your clients have been and how to find more people like that. Uh, if you're an author, you need to figure out who your target market is, who would like this kind of book, the material that you offer, how to approach them. The internet has made that so easy now. You really can go to Facebook study groups, Facebook uh, groups of all kinds that have semi-related and don't place an ad. Join the group. Have a conversation with the people. It takes a little time. Uh, tell them about what you're writing and why it's great and, and, and then subtly mention that you have this book. It's available on Amazon uh, or they can order it directly for you for $5 less and you'd be amazed how many sales you get. Uh, use your own Facebook page, your own Twitter, your own Instagram to pr promote it gently. Reprinting some of the things that you thought were most pithy. And you got to give some things away. Uh, if you can put together a booklet and offer that, uh, uh, you'll get names that you can you can tell them about the book more directly. Um, uh, uh, don't know why I'm doing that. I don't usually do that. Public relations are different. Public relations is the old school. Of course, it's gone into the 21st century, but it's getting newspapers, 
magazines, radio stations. Nowadays, it's it's um, blogs and it's it's people's uh, Spotify accounts. It's people's uh, podcasts. It's uh, it's TV, uh, YouTube interviews, um, and you can even if you if you've got a good enough pitch, a good enough angle, if your book or your services really fit into the times, and convincingly so, then you send them an email. You call them up. You ask them if you can be on. You, If you're shy, you can take on a persona. Uh, as the publisher of Magical Blend magazine, I became Neil Powers, Neil T. Powers, the, um, the head salesman, because everybody wanted a favor from the publisher, and then you know, it just was a different relationship. But if I was a salesman, they could talk about the publisher. They could talk about the magazine. I could give them a deal. And you can do that pitching yourself to to radio shows. And uh, radio shows and, and uh, podcasts are, are easiest. If you, if you just send them your bio, a picture of you, a picture of your book, a write-up about your book, um, and tell them why you're a good guest... You're amazed. There's so many out there that really will go for it. Uh, what else do I want to tell you? It's all real doable depending on what you want to do. Uh, I guess expos, conferences, are, are really good too. Because you get to meet people face to face. A lot of them you get to lecture or do a workshop. Now you're an authority. If you're an authority, people look for you online. Uh, Searches YouTube YouTube is very good. We have this YouTube channel. It served us very well. You know we get between fifty and three hundred people who look at every YouTube we do every week, and uh, you can you can do a wide series of things. And again, you're authority on your own YouTube channel, but you can be interviewed by people who have their YouTube channel. It's deciding what you're willing to do. What you want to do? Do you just want to write books and not promote them and not have them sell? Do you just want to offer service and feel bad that nobody comes? Or do you really want to tell people that you have a unique healing me uh, methodology and you would like to work on them and make money so you can quit your day job? You, you really, in this day and age of the 21st century, anyone who's creative, willing to do the research, willing to practice, willing to make the mistakes, you can get your product or service out there yourself. Very well, very easily. Uh, my wife Sophia and I run Langevin Accent Marketing. We both learned how to promote ourselves because we publish books and you, to get them to sell, you really have to promote yourself. Uh, so we help people. We offer a service where we train people to do what I'm talking about here if they want. But you can teach yourself. Uh, we, we don't need anyone to need us. We have enough work and it's wonderful. Um, but we're always willing to consider new clients. And... Just get the world to know that you're there and what you're doing. And if you believe you're making the world a better place doing it, well, then you're serving everyone in the process. Thank you so much. This is Magical Extras for the Echo World, and I'm Michael Peter Langevin. It's been a pleasure.